China, the Middle Kingdom, Zhongguo. You've made it 70 years, and there's a lot to celebrate. The problem is the West just doesn't understand you. Anyone who's been to China will be no stranger to the billboards in every corner of the country displaying the 12 core socialist values of China. Successfully upholding the 12 core socialist principles of China has been no small task, but under the kind and beautiful leadership of Mao, Deng, Jiang, Hu, and Xi, well, you did it. Let's see how China has outdone themselves over the past 70 years. I'm going to break down every single one of these core socialist Chinese values and show you exactly what China's done to achieve every single one of them. Number one, the first core socialist principle is prosperity. It's safe to say that China is not only the most prosperous country in the world, but also achieved prosperity with the utmost environmental conscientiousness. With a per person income and a staggering $10,000 per year, not only can every single Chinese person afford a Ferrari, but can also afford to send their offspring to spread the values of core socialist principles across every university abroad, with Chinese characteristics. Number two, democracy. As we watch the world fall into tyranny and authoritarianism, China remains the pinnacle of democracy. Freedom of assembly, freedom of speech, the right to vote, freedom of religion, an absolute paradise of democratic expression on the internet and social media, the ability to look forward while the world looks away. Number three, civility. Perhaps one of the oldest civilizations known to man, one cannot argue with China's almost non-existent crime rate. Pesky motorcycles are removed from the streets, street vendors peddling illegal wares, and dangerous old historical towns and villages are decimated and replaced with residences that even remove themselves after a certain amount of time. The fourth socialist principle is harmony, or hexie in Chinese. Harmony is paramount to its peaceful mannerisms. While the West applauds fringe groups who seek to destroy the very freedom that they believe in, and other brutal dictatorships simply squash protests and freedom of speech, China simply harmonizes them. Dangerous opinions online are also harmonized, and when anyone abroad seeks to destroy China's unity, they are dealt with with harmonious candor by the very voluntary 50 cent army. To prevent such unharmonious thinking, the much misunderstood Great Firewall of China, actually called the Golden Shield Project, is employed to harmonize dangerous thought. Harmony. Number five is freedom. While the West is held back by archaic laws and punishments, Chinese citizens are free to do, say, and go where they please. While the West languishes with outdated technology, Chinese people have the freedom to be rated based on their actions and opinions. Those who disagree with the party have the freedom to stay home under careful watch of authorities, or the freedom to participate in workshops where they can relish in the fact that your Halloween decorations will be available at your local Walmart for a fair price, while those with a high enough social credit score are granted the freedom to enroll their children in school, or even take the train. The sixth core socialist value is equality. The West can do nothing but watch in awe as minorities are undermined in their own countries, while the 56 minorities in China dance and sing the praises of their much cherished system. What has the West done to lift up its marginalized groups? In China, we can see entire ethnic groups receiving free art classes, renovations to their places of worship, and much, much more. After all, doesn't everyone want to be Han? Number seven and eight are justice and rule of law. With an over 99% conviction rate, you can rest assured that China always gets the bad guy. While we have to deal with pesky juries, judges, and lawyers, China offers a very fair policy of gift giving. It's an ancient tradition. Say you think you've been wrongfully accused or you think that the law doesn't apply to you. The Chinese simply have to give an offering to the appropriate party member or judge, and that's not difficult given the cars, properties, and wealth that every single Chinese citizen is guaranteed in the first value, prosperity. Number nine is patriotism. 
While other countries are torn apart by petty differences, China remains unified under the leader. Under his supreme guidance, the Chinese people have come together hand in hand, right or right, to show their love for their utopia. When 1.4 billion people proudly display their love for their country with not an ounce of coercion, you know the leader is doing a good job. The tenth value is dedication. It takes dedication to eradicate and starve 80 million of your own people, plunging a country into abject poverty only to, after the next 70 years, lift them out of that very same poverty, and making that achievement the most important attribute of your political legitimacy. That's called play in the long game. Number 11 is integrity. There's not one nation in the world that upholds more moral integrity than China. From banning prostitution and pornography, barring tattoos and male earrings on TV, to not subjecting the public eyes to potential damage by not allowing a girl deemed too ugly to sing the national anthem at the Olympics, China is a country of its word. When intellectual property is borrowed, it's improved upon and always given back to itself. The last and perhaps the most heartwarming is friendship, number 12. Perhaps the most visceral symbols of friendship is the friendship bridge that China has with North Korea. Internationally, China has made an unparalleled number of allies. Nearly every country in the world has a strong partnership with China, both economically and militarily. With the belt tightening on the Belt and Road Project, everyone shares the spoils. Domestically, they've granted autonomous rights to not only its mainland territories, but generously also to Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Macau. One can see that the 12 core socialist values of China are the most important attribute of this country and the only reason it is now leading the world as the most important and influential superpower that the world has ever seen. Congratulations on 70 years to the CCP, the Communist Party of China. You guys outdid yourself, and under the current leadership, there's promised to be many more years to come. Happy birthday, China.